Hey everyone, I'm Laura Davidson with Shure, and on today's episode of How Do You Do That, I'll be walking you through how you can physically adjust the frequency response switches on the back of your SM7B and what you're adjusting when you do that. Let's check it out. So you got your SM7B home, hooked up, ready to rock, or into the studio, and you notice that you have these cool little switches on the back. All right, so in order to get to adjust these switches, you can use a couple of different things. I recommend a flathead screwdriver. And what you're going to do is simply put it into the notch on the left to engage the bass roll off. Put it into the notch on the right to engage the presence boost. Now, when you engage those things, here is what is physically happening to the microphone. So you'll see the flat response represented by that solid line and your bass roll off and presence boost represented by the other two. And why you would want to engage these is if you have a richer voice, maybe you want to take a little bit of that low end off, or if you want to boost those highs and mids, presence boost can be your best friend. You can also engage both of them at the same time. So benefits there too, it comes with a back plate that you can put on to lock these out. So if you don't want to make any changes ever again, just put that other back plate on there and no one can mess with it. So that's how you can adjust your frequency response switches on your SM7B, what it's actually adjusting. Hope you learned something. If you did, like and subscribe below. And thanks for watching.